This video will demonstrate how to connect a six client to your six server. Uh, it will also show you how to disconnect. So uh, the first time you log into a six client on your network, uh, you're going to be prompted to log in. Um, and that's the form you see here, the connect to server form. Uh, you'll also see this if you happen to disconnect and then want to reconnect. So um, the username and password you're going to fill in. This could be one that was created for you by your um, six administrator, whoever installed this and set up your users. The default that I'm going to use here is the admin uh, login that was created when using the express configuration when installing the six server. So I've got that entered here. Um, the remember me option will just make it so you don't have to re-enter your username and password each time uh, you log in. And um, this connect automatically, though, is one reason you may not see this in the future. Uh, that means, just means every time that you launch a six client moving forward, it will automatically attempt to connect to the server. You won't have this login form. So uh, down here, the name or IP address field, you're going to want to put in the machine name, the computer name, or the IP address of the machine where your six server is installed. So that's what I have here. And then down here, the port is uh, 9010. And that is the default port that is created uh, when you use our express configuration when installing your six server. If you use the custom configuration, uh, you may need to put in a different port number if you change that here. So I'll simply just hit connect. And now down here, you can see I'm connected to the server. And I can then function and do all kinds of things in the software, just anything you want to do. Um, now, if you ever have to reconnect, you'll go to the start menu here and go to connect, and this will be an option here. Now, you'll also see that there's a disconnect from server option. And um, what this will do is just disconnect you from your server. That will free up your license so uh, another user could log in on their machine. Um, but you won't have much access to do anything when you are disconnected from the SIG server. If you have any projects that are checked out to you, you could open them read-only um, just to view them. You will not be able to make any edits to projects or your uh, catalog when you are disconnected. Um, you'll notice when I disconnected that this connected server form immediately popped up just prompting you. You probably want to uh, reconnect to the server. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and do that.